Hello everyone, Lisa here. Welcome to What's Crafting Wednesday. I hope everyone had a fabulous and crafty week since last week. Uh, let's just jump right in and get started with our drawing from last week's cards. Fresh Freesia, oh my, how pretty. So let me put all my names in here from the comments. My usual little shake, shake, shake. Okay, and I have Jennifer. Well, congratulations, Jennifer. I have two pretty hello friend cards for you. Okay, everyone. Tonight, I will be using another Celebration stamp set and Celebration DSP. It's the Island Vibes. This is a rubber stamp set. And I am also using the Simply Marvelous DSP. This is a six by six pack and it comes marbled on one side and kind of like a swirl on the other. And you get, uh, I believe it's six different uh, colors in here. And those of you who are on my list for catalogs, you would have uh, some samples in your catalogs I sent you. So if you miss that, look inside your catalogs. And we will also be using the painted texture embossing folder. This is from the annual catalog. Bumblebee and Mossy Meadow ink. And Bumblebee basic white and Mossy Meadow cardstock. So let's get started. This is a simple card and I just wanted to show you basically with this how to stamp the pineapple in the two colors and how to do some partial embossing. So I have here my packet for tonight. I have a basic white envelope and I did already pre-emboss the envelope flap. And when you emboss an envelope flap, those of you who have been to my classes um, in person know how to do this, but I will just show you what I do. I put the flap in and I push it as far as it will go and then I just run it this way through the embossing folder through the embossing machine and then you get just your your envelope flap embossed and I have bumblebee cardstock I have two pieces of basic white uh, they're both four by five and a quarter. The plain piece is for the inside of the card. And I also have a strip of the DSP. This is four by three quarters, and this is for the inside. And for the front of the card, I partially embossed my front panel. And what I did with this, I measured it in the embossing folder because I wanted my strip of DSP to be one and a half inches. So when I put this in the embossing folder, I put it to the top so it lined up and then I just measured one and a half off and then I ran it through the embossing folder. So that way you have the smooth piece here still to adhere your DSP. Everybody follow that? Okay, if not, ask me a question, send me a private message, whatever, and I can hopefully better explain it to you. And I have a piece of DSP for the front. This is one and a half by five and a quarter. And then for our stamping and layering, I have Mossy Meadow. It is two by three and a half. And our basic white for stamping is one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And the bumblebee is four and a quarter by 11. And we will score this at five and a half. And then just give it a nice crease with the bone folder. A piece of, uh, piece of lint there, got rid of that. And now to create, it's still there, what is that? Oh. Now to create the front panel of the card. 
So I'm just going to take the DSP and adhere it, and it's going to fit right in that nice, smooth piece there. Mm. Quickest, fastest way to do this is with the Tombow, which, as you know, has become my go-to adhesive. Just put that down and line it up. Edge is hanging over, and then we'll adhere this panel to the front of the card. It's right in the front, in the center here, so you have a nice border evenly around. You just just eye it. And now for our stamping. So the purpose of tonight's card actually was to show you how to get the um, the two color on the on the pineapple. And I know we have done this before. I showed you before, but just as a refresher, I thought I would feature that again tonight. Uh, the easiest way is to use your Stamparatus. Uh, in case you don't have full coverage the first time, then you can re-ink it and stamp right over. So I'm going to put this right in here and just put the magnet a little bit to the edge. You don't want it to cover much of it. Just make sure there's room for your stamp to still come over. And then I'm using sponge daubers. And you want to do your lighter color first. So I have the bumblebee. Just ink up your dauber and ink the stamp. And then put the mossy meadow on the top for the leaves. Is that what they're called on the top of a pineapple? I don't know what they're called. If they have a special name and someone knows it, leave me a message and let me know. And you just take your plate over and press. And now I see I need a little more ink. I want to have a little more coverage. So you just re-ink your stamp. And re-ink these leaves or whatever it is that we call them. And then we're just going to go right over it again. And there we have beautiful coverage. Now you know the first time I did not ink it fully because I wanted to show you how you could easily just re-stamp it. All right, now let me close these ink pads now because if not, I most definitely will end up with a finger, a sleeve, a, the card, something in it. And now the pineapple piece gets adhered to the mossy meadow. And then the mossy meadow will be adhered with dimensionals. So it has a little, a little pop to it. Just take the dimensionals. I'm going to use uh, some longer strips here so I don't have to pull as many dimensionals off. And I should have out the foam strips that we used last time, but I don't have them handy. Guess I wasn't fully prepared. And then I'm just going to take a couple of the regular dimensionals with my tweezers because it's easier for me and run them in the middle here. Now if you wanted to dress it up a little more, you could put some uh, twine or linen thread behind it, even some ribbon if you wanted to and have it sticking out the sides. 
And I just wanted to show you with a little simple stamping, you can make a beautiful card. And Wendy, if you're watching, I'm sorry, there is no bling tonight, but you could easily take your wink of Stella and add some bling to the pineapple. And now the inside of the card, I kept it simple. I chose not to use a sentiment um, because next week's uh, chosen winner um, can use the card for whatever they choose. So I just added a strip of DSP to coordinate with the front of the card. And make sure I put it the right way. This is the swirl side. This is the marble that we want on the front to be on the inside of the card. So it matches the front. Though I think I could easily have made this card with the other side of the DSP. But this marble side just made me think of a pineapple when I looked at the, the yellow. And we're just going to add this on the inside here. smack dab in the middle again and then you could easily add a sentiment inside you easily could stamp something and add it here with dimensionals as well and lastly the envelope since I already had the embossing on the back just wanted to keep the front simple I actually debated whether or not to stamp on it at all so instead of doing the full pineapple, I just did the top of it with the leaves. And that is back to the Stamparatus. And now with this, I since the ink transferred to here, now I can see where to do my perfect placement. I had the leaves go off the bottom. Yes, I did. So I can just put it right there. Add my magnet and get some more mossy meadow. There's so much you can do with sponge daubers, they're so fun. Okay, looks good, but I think we'll just add a little more so you can see how easy it is to go over it again if you want more coverage. And perfect. Anyone that does not have a Stamparatus, absolutely, most definitely should add it to your craft room. Anyone who has it, <coughs> Judy, that does not regularly use it, should definitely pull it out and start using it. Okay, everyone, so this is it. Uh, pretty much a clean and simple um, basic stamping card, but we have texture going on here. We have some pretty DSP, um, two color stamping. We have some dimension with the raised panel and then a nice simple inside. And then dimension on the, the pattern here on the flap and just a little bit of stamping on the front there. Hey everyone, so thank you so much for joining me again this week. You know I love to read your comments. Let me know what you think about tonight's cards. Um, if you have gotten this stamp set yet with your free celebration choice, um, tell me what your favorite celebration items are from the catalog. Um, I don't know, I pretty much like them all. Uh, I think the Island Vibes is a fun set and you can do a lot with this. And it is a rubber stamp set. Um, I love photopolymer for placement, but every time I use a rubber stamp, I say there's just no stamping like you get with a rubber stamp. This beautiful daffodil paper that coordinates with the daffodil bundle in the mini catalog. This cute cut catching butterflies. The driving by is adorable. 
Uh, we have the Sunshine and Rainbows paper, which coordinates with the new rainbow bundle in the mini catalog. Here's the marble paper that we used this evening. Awesome otters. Oh, aren't they just darling, these little guys? You can have a lot of fun with those. Last week I used the Friendly Hello stamp set and DSP. Uh, now this is, comes as a bundle and this one is free with a $100 purchase. All the other items are free with a $50 purchase. And we have the Special Moment Sentiment stamp set. It's photopolymer, which I do like for sentiments because you can always make sure your sentiment is straight. And this here is also free with a $100 purchase. And then we have the Calming Camellia set. This is free with a um, $300 um, order or workshop. And of course, we have our join special right now. As always, it is $99 and you choose $125 of Stampin' Up! merchandise, but right now during celebration, you get to also add two additional stamp sets of your choice to your starter kit. So I would love to have you as one of my crafting princesses. Any questions, wanna chat? Always feel free, leave me a message, send me a private message, an email. Okay, everyone, so that is it for tonight. I thank you again for joining me. I hope you liked tonight's card. Don't forget to leave me a message, leave me a comment so you get entered into the drawing to win these two cards next week. Okay, everyone, as always, have a wonderful week and make it a crafty one. And I will see you back here next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Thanks. Night.